Greetings to you all, and welcome back to Let's Play Infinity with me, Artega Omega. I have got back to this screen. In the top right corner is the cave where we looted the dead guards. And to the left is the screen with the werewolf. So, let's go say hi. Now this time I'm going to use my vervain before the fight starts, I think. Probably for the best. I have no intention of fighting this monkey. I suppose I should show you as well. I am a level 5 for each of my characters. I think that's where I was last time. Not sure. You should know how it is. I've just been fighting stuff as I went along. Not been deliberately trying to grind. Not been deliberately avoiding fights either. So I should be roughly where I was before. Werewolf, bring it. This time I made sure to save some mana on Ryan, but I think I may have spent a little too much on Connor. Let's crack on. It's a strong start. So strong, in fact, I'm going to do it again. Connor should be able to finish off that wolf, so let's go for tidal magic. On the big boy. Six. That's a strong number. I'm so glad I saved this guy's mana. Okay, long shot is a better skill against him. Got enough mana for two engulfs. Let's see what it does in terms of damage. 18, not bad, not the worst. And I'm quite tanky against him. Better to just attack, though. Alright. Could step Ryan forwards here. But then I lose a turn of attacking. Hmm. Not the best for Connor. Ryan's gonna take a hit for the team. Keep the damage coming in. Keep it flowing. Now, are we going to try this using items again? So let me get this straight. If I press this button, it cancels it. Yes. So this should be the use button. There we go. That's more like it. Ryan has literally nowhere to run. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. Should I triumphantly step in the way? I think I should. Still got three long shots. Okay, all of that prep for one hit remaining. That's what we like. Ryan even has better stat gain than me. He's the real hero. I wouldn't be too harsh on him, Connor. I want Ryan back, I'm scared. He just left me all alone with fearsome monkeys. Seriously, I just want to get out of here. I want to get to a town or something where I can save. I want to read this sign. Thanks. Desert? Desert town, maybe? Look positively terrifying. Yes, a town. Precious town. I 
need water. I need hospitality. That doesn't look like an inn. I don't like this place. Where do you sleep? Your mum was a genius. Oh. It's a nice welcome, Matt. You got yourself a deal. I don't really need the heal that much, but I need the mana back. Also, I need to hear those tunes. Can I save, please? I wouldn't mind a quick save. Apparently I'm in an oasis. Alright, what's this town got for me? It's got hidden vervain in the boxes. Any good RPG player knows to check the boxes in every town. Wait, and you just... I mean, you have your doubts, but there are people that just accept this. Maybe I'm going to tell them that I own the water. Foreshadowing. Right, I've already spoken to you. Be gone. And do not waste my time talking to you rabble more than once. You there. Deckard Kane. What's going on? That's correct. Everything you've said so far is accurate. So I know from first-hand experience that that is completely correct. talking. We're talking business. Maybe we could haggle a little bit more. You could just have a deal. Can someone translate Ifende for me? I don't know if I'm being insulted or not. It might mean friend for all I know. Oh, I have needs. I still want that 10% discount. So what I've learned so far in this game is that the best way to get what I want is to threaten people with violence until they give it to me for free. I should have done that with that merchant back in the first town. 200 gold for that useless Ryan. Yes, what do you have? Is that a boot? Curse Game Boy graphics. That's a boot, right? With a... It's like a Hermes boot. Got a wing coming out of it.
Why does water cost so much? I, I'm in the desert. That's why water costs so much. Uh, I think I am getting a 10% discount. This would have been 25 before. You actually honoured your word. Thank you, Ifende. Now, where have I not been? I'm going in the saloon. No, I've been in here. I was going left. Uh, that's correct. It's this ominous looking place. I mean, that's what it was. That's not what it is anymore. Are you literally the people that Hassan was just describing? How hairy are you? Let me just let me just check. No, you seem pretty good. By the way, you may be wondering why I called this person Deckard Kane. Because when I realized what I was actually looking at, I felt kind of silly. And I thought I'd try and gloss over it. But allow me to explain. See, my eyes miss saw this. I see now. Mouse time. We have a person here with some eyes, right? But that's not what I saw. What I saw was a bald head with some eyes, and then this was a bushy beard. See, sort of mouth here, beard here, two eyes. That's what I saw. It's a Game Boy game, I can't see. I'm looking at a tiny screen, all right? I've already spoken to you. Where's that? There's the urn shop. Now, we begin looting. Or possibly playing Lieutenant Surge's gym in Pokemon Red Blue. I left cursor on the screen, what an amateur. You cannot hide your wares from me. Right, so I was given a very precious and very valuable gem. With zero GP. Shall see what becomes of this. If I sell all of my old trash... I still can't afford a scimitar. You know what, I want that scimitar. What if I sell my iron sword? Can you give me 50 gold for an iron sword? Got yourself a deal, my friend. If it turns out I can't use scimitars, this game's about to get a whole lot harder. Alright. What a lovely town. No, wait, I need to go north. That's my objective. Green slimes. How strong are you? Sufficiently strong to survive a slash from a... What on earth are you doing? Stop healing yourself. You're not even injured. Intelligence on these creatures is very low. Which you are worth an enormous... Ooh. Amount of experience. I can equip gems, can't I, in the equip menu? If I equip my ruby, what happens? Get here. Now I need to get into a fight. Who wants some? Is there an entry point? No, it's not. I do want a fight. Come on. I want to test my new gem. Why must I fight plants? Behold! Five! Um. Zah! Four! I tell you, when this number gets down to zero, something exciting had better happen. If I don't die before I get there. Um, hmm. Hmm. 
these guys have got me well and truly flanked. I can't really fight both of these at the same time. And now I'm out of ruby power. I don't even know what it did. Oh well, only one thing for it. Is there any way I can see what the ruby does? What about select? No. Oh. It's just a mystery. We'll figure it out. Unfortunately, I have to actually win a fight in order to gain anything on my gem, it seems. A cave. I'm serious. I want to try winning a fight with the gem equipped. So I'm going to do this. You heal others or just yourself? Just yourself. What a moron. Why would you team up with this slime, honestly? Well, now you're just stalling for time. Nothing happened to the gem, right? It's at, it's at zero still? Seems to be. Okay, I'm gonna have a word with Hassan. Seem to know a bit more about the gem than me. Hassan, what did you say about this thing? Don't call me a fende. You won't tell me anymore. That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. I assume someone will give me a... more thorough explanation. as to what the gem does later. For now, it's probably supposed to be somewhat of a mystery. I wonder if I should unequip it, though, because it was gaining something when it was unequipped. And now it's equipped, it has zero... I'm assuming power or turns of usage. So perhaps I should unequip it for now. Let it build up some points, whatever they do. Gym... Remove. Don't know if that's a good choice or not, but we'll see. I'm off to that cave. I wish Ryan was still with me. I miss that guy. Hello, flames. I'm going to assume my fire magic isn't the best on you. How exactly are you scratching me? So this place is terrifying. One fight against two enemies, I'm nearly dead. What on earth is that? It's the Vulpix. Whatever it is, it's got more than 52 hit points. Please don't miss this attack. There's a good chap. This game is proving difficult. Maybe I'm supposed to grind a bit. 
It's hard to tell if you're expected to grind, or if grinding is just going to make the game ridiculously easy. Ow. That is not the best way to run. Somehow it worked. Ooh, I'm so glad I spent all that money on that sword. Five more attack, but a little less accuracy, I think. Makes me feel like I shouldn't come in this place until I've actually bought the studded armor as well. I'm getting kind of slaughtered. And the fact that my magic is completely useless in here, I assume, isn't helping matters. Maybe the gem will do something when it gets uh, 100 points. My next guess. I don't like the bats. Dead end, I see. You know what, this is a little too dangerous. I don't want to overgrind because I don't like it in RPGs when I grind too much and then the game's just too easy. I like to try and play through with the intended difficulty, it's just hard to gauge what the intended difficulty is. But the game did force me to grind the gold before, so I think the game expects me to grind a little. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a nap as is tradition. And then we're going to grind our way to the studded armor. Which shouldn't take too long, because I can sell the scimitar. Uh, the inns this way. And then maybe we'll get ourselves a nice stack of potions. By which I mean vervain. And then we'll explore in earnest. How much money do I have? Quite a bit. I feel like one level up would go quite a long way as well. Just tried using the gem there while it's unequipped in case it did anything, but... Good lord, that cactus is resistant to magic as well. Missing, it's just a snake. A very, very large snake. How does one the fight cause me so much difficulty? Oh, I'm out of here. Right back to the inn. This plan is going well. Screw this, the monsters in the desert are way too strong.
Wait, why am I saving this? <laughs> All I have to do is walk out, get hit, lose 15 gold. Better save that progress, don't want to lose that. Right, get me out of the desert, I want to fight something. That isn't cactal. I never get tired of that fleeing animation, it's fantastic. Uh, just swing, we'll be fine. This is the kind of enemy we want to devour. Maybe I shouldn't have given up my accuracy. Ah, uh, the old RPG tradition. Pacing back and forth. Why is your opening play to heal? You chaps are very annoying. Why do I need another trip to the inn after fighting two battles with slimes? Okay, that'll help. I honestly may switch back to the scimitar, just for the increased accuracy. Missing like that is going to get me killed in an important fight. I can just see it coming. What's the difference in terms of stats? Five down on the attack. But four up on the agility. Or oh, accuracy. I think. I mean, I mean, this is kind of confusing, right? Cursor time. So this obviously means weapon, armor, accessory. And gem. Oh, maybe this is agility? Maybe that's a boot? My problem is, I was thinking this was accuracy, and so this would be accuracy. But it's not, is it? This is... Damage. This is probably accuracy. This is maybe speed? But then where's armor? I can't interpret these icons. This is some kind of, like, gem magic power. Damn it, game, I need words. Okay, so the... The crosshair must be armor. I've got to think the third one is a boot. And it represents my speed. Yes, I would like to buy this weapon called Studded, if that's alright with you. Better be substantially better than my leather, because I'm selling it to you.
Okay, primed and ready. We are stronger than we were before. We're going back to the cave. But that's going to be an exciting adventure for the next video. Hopefully you'll join me for that, and I shall. I'll see you there. My dramatic ending, you ruined it.